Okay, I think this is live. Hopefully it is. So hi, everybody. Welcome to uh, kind of an impromptu uh, stream I decided to do. And the reason is, is because of this. I have I went to my PO box the other day and it was so full. It literally exploded when I opened it. No, not literally, but it had so much in it that it just like everywhere. And I, thought, I have to do a mail opening and I have, have a bunch that I've gotten over the last couple of months and so I wanted to go over them and so the best way to do it was just to do a live stream and just open it up and show you some art and things that I got um, that you guys have sent me. So there's just a ton of stuff and so hopefully it's all in order. So some of them I have pre-opened and looked at because um, you write on them don't open on camera so I've, hopefully I've gotten those kind of figured out. Hopefully we'll try. Probably not the best thing to do on a live event, but that's what we're doing. So let's first check to make sure this is working. I'll go over here. I'm out of here. Um, um, oh, no, I'm talking. Shh. No, there's too many to be talking. It's okay. There we go. All right. So you can say hi in the comments if you are watching. But it says people are watching. All right, go. Yay. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this started. So this is in no particular order. In fact, I'm going to bring them down here so that I don't show off anybody's addresses or anything. So no particular order. I'm just going to reach in and grab something. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys some of the fun stuff I have. I'm going to make a little green right here on my desk. So this one is from Illinois. That doesn't have a name. It says CP. We came this cool little menu envelope right here. All right, so let's see what we have here. I think this is one of the newer ones. I think I got this one just the other day. I'm sure there's no goodies in the bottom there. Right there. So, a um, couple of different letters here. There we go. So uh, I always ask you guys if you don't want me to say anything um, to go ahead and put that towards the beginning or on the envelope so that I don't read it online, but I don't see that here. So I will just cruise this really quickly, see if I can find a name. Lots of fun questions, though. I'm not finding a name. Hmm. <laughs> well, there's an address, but I won't say that because that just would not be good. I'll read the letter and then you'll know that this is you or not. So it says, hi, Valerie. Why is your YouTube channel named Art on the Card? I actually had someone ask me that, um, who was French, ask me that. And um, uh, it actually, the simple reason is because I wanted to find a word that rhymes with art. And uh, so I thought cart. Um, so it's cart. And then I was like, hey, a la carte, you know, because you can go to the restaurant and order something a la carte. So I thought it sounded funny. So yeah, that's why it's called Art Like Art. There's a lot of other names. I'm like, I should have named it that or this, but it's fun to have Art Like Art. That says, okay. Um, very sweet. My, oh, she talks about how she, I hope it's a she. I'm still not seeing a name. Sorry. It's, sorry for bad handwriting. Maybe that's her name. <laughs> uh, it says, your life is so amazing. I wish, oh no. An error has occurred. Error? No, not allowed. Error. Hang on. Don't. Don't worry. We'll try to figure this out. Hang on. If, if you guys can still see this, we'll figure this out. Let's see what's going on. All right. Let's go here. Are we still on? I don't even know. It looked like it cut out. I don't know. It's saying it's not working on my end. So let me know if it's still working on your end and maybe I just have a... So let me know if you can still get this because all of a sudden it didn't work. Okay, I think we're back. Maybe. All right. If it goes out, just start spamming because there was like some caution icons in the in the uh, the chat. So I didn't know if it went out for you. But it went out for me for a second. So, But we're back. Okay. Anyway, let's get on to the... Oh, here's some more, more questions on the back. Sorry, I don't have your name. I cannot see it. So it says, what is your email? Um, my email is in the description box below. 
so you can check that out. I love getting emails from you guys. How old are you? I, I keeps going out on me. Don't do it. Okay. Um, how old are you? I am 38 years old. That would have been very convenient for me to like, um, on that question, be like, oh, it went out, and then forget, skip the question. But no, I'm 38, which is much older than most YouTubers, but I, yeah, I don't feel 38. So, also, what tips do you have for my work? So I have a piece, a drawing here. I'll go ahead and show the drawing. Very cute. Oh, maybe it has a name. Carolina. There we go. It has a name on the art picture there. So there we go. Very cute. I'm getting some sun glare in from the sun setting. So that's going to be annoying. Um, so what tips do you have uh, for my artwork? And what art supplies should I use? And what art classes should I go to? Uh, those are all great questions. In fact, I'm thinking about starting um, after the Digital Drawing 101 series is to do a Digital 101, everything I needed to know about how to draw but was afraid to ask. I don't know how to come up with a cool title yet, but just the beginning basics um, on art and, you know, for the person who just wanted to get into art and doesn't know where they should start that cover all of that. So I'll be looking for maybe um, some videos on that. And then do I ask any too many questions? No, I love all your questions. So she said she was going to send me two drawings, but her mom started to cry and wanted to. And that's okay. I am honored when you guys send me like original artwork. I always think it looks so cool. And, um, but I'm honored when you send me original because there's only one original and, and this is it. So um, yeah. If you guys send me photocopies of your work, I still love that too. So let me put this back in this envelope. I'm going way too slow. This is going to be like an eight-hour thing. I go this slow in my mail opening. All right. Let's see. Okay. So this one came all the way from Kenya. I can show this one because I'm coming and dressed. And super cool. I'm so excited that Kenya, I have a friend who uh, went to Kenya several times. So that's really cool. It says, please do not open on camera. Don't look, anybody. No looking. Sorry. Okay, I won't read the letter. But I'll show the artwork. That's okay. okay. But I won't read it. Okay. So first we have a letter, and I won't read that. And then we have... A card but I won't read that and then we have another card I won't read it online but I want to show it it's so cool I love it. it's like made out of fabric let me put it up nice and close for you guys to see isn't that beautiful so it's like cut out the shape of the camel and then has a fabric underneath it and then the little star has some like fabric so that's really fun so there's another little letter I won't read that but I will show you oh my goodness these paintings are beautiful so here's this one painting here I love that. So beautiful. I love when you guys do paintings from some of my video tutorials and I look at it and I'm going, oh, that's my painting. Because you guys do it so great. I've had several of them sent to me that I'm like, I had to put it next to my painting. Hmm. Because I look almost like mine was a little bit smaller than this, so I know it wasn't it's not that one. And besides, I came from Kenya. And then this one here, which is some cool cat pictures. I'm sorry, the light is shining. The sun is setting right out that window and it's just hitting me right in the face. But there's some cool kitty cat photos. I love that. So fun. We, we, I just got back from teaching art class got three hours ago, four hours ago, and we drew kitty cats in our class. So that was fun. Yeah. All right. Hang on. Went out again. So. Okay, next. Ooh, this now this one I'm really surprised made it because it actually had this really big tear in it. Um, but what was inside was still in there. I had to open it up to see. Oh, better be careful because it has. So this one came from Airmail Parever. I think this one came from the UK, maybe? I'm not sure. It has this really cool. How to Train Your Dragon sticker, which when Eva saw it, she immediately wanted to keep it. Cool. So, and there's tons of goodies in here. Oh, I'm so excited. Make sure I don't lose anything. Oh, goodness. There's just tons of stickers in here. I'm hoping none of the stickers fell out in the mail. So, we'll see. Okay, so... 
first let's get to the letter oh it's got things taped to it all right so this is from this is actually from christmas this is how slow i am at getting in these um uh things that opened on video <laughs> my bad so it says merry christmas to eva mama flynn and papa flynn and you yay my mom and dad are gonna be so excited you guys include them mom my mother is so thrilled every time you you guys still wish her merry, or happy birthday on her video birthday which is almost it's like nine months ago was her birthday but you guys still are um commenting on that video and wishing her happy birthday and all that which by the way up yeah mama flan she is doing super good she's been going to physical therapy on her arms and uh almost almost back to almost 100 percent um she can drive the car now and all that good stuff so thank you guys for for all your sweet messages so okay so this is uh to valerie doesn't say not sure so i'm gonna read it merry late christmas it's okay because i was really late in opening this I hope you had a great time and got lots of art equipment. Yay! Recently, I've been getting into watercolors and pins, markers, which are very new to me because all of my life I've only used Prismacolor pencils. I use Prismacolor pencils too. But they are proving to be very fun. My first attempt at markers was really cr a creepy Pikachu. <laughs> And my second attempt at watercolor was also a Pikachu picture, but this time he was with his brother. So I just actually drew Eva uh, a Pikachu on a big piece of cardboard. We had those pizzas and they come with the cardboard backing and I drew a big Pikachu face and cut it out for her. And so now she's downstairs coloring with highlighters. That's very cute. So uh, I won't read the whole letter, but this is from Katie who is 11. And at the bottom, I'm super excited. Katie sent a green cool erase color pencil. It's one of those ones that um, you can draw with and then erase. And I absolutely adore it. I have like three different colors that I purchased. So I have the Tuscan red, the regular red, and the regular blue. So now I have a green one to try out. So I'm super excited about that. That's very fun. And then she sent some gummy erasers. You probably saw Katie. Did you see that in my video when I showed how um, badly dirty my gummy eraser is? So it comes in this cute little container to keep it so nice and clean. I love that. And then some fun little more how to train your dragon stickers, which Eva has I've been eyeballing. And this very cute pen ink drawing of it's a Kirby. I think it's Kirby. I don't know why this thing keeps going up. So tell me in the comments if I'm correct. Is this Kirby? Looks like Kirby. And then she sent an envelope. That is a self-addressed envelope. It's not stamped, but she is from the United Kingdom, and she said in her letter that it is hard for they she couldn't get it pre-stamped because their stamps are different than our stamps, which makes sense. So Generally, I don't write back unless it's stamped, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not promising nothing. But he did send me a green cool erase pencil. Just saying. You're saying you can be bribed with salary? Yes. yes I can. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. You guys, I've got to go faster with this. I still have mountains of stuff to go through. Uh, okay. So this is another one I just got recently, and Eva absolutely adores these, but she wants me to cut each of these stickers out to give her. If I don't use them, she says. If I use them, then I can have them. I'm going to throw them away. I have to cut them out. Oh, my goodness. There's so many goodies in here. Okay. We'll put this over here. So first, going through the map. So here is a self-addressed stamped envelope and I have it covered up but if you write me a letter and you want me to write you back if you send a self-addressed stamped envelope that means a brand new envelope that has um, my address up here but has your address down here plus a stamp I will send you something back so I'll write you a little note and send you a little doodle or something so boom right there if you want something um, that's how you get one so definitely going to be sending Annabelle's back something and Annabelle's like a ton of drawings so Here's the first one. We're just going to go really quickly through these because there's a lot of them. So there's a little wolf dog running. Another colorful little, I don't think on the ears, a puppy dog. Very decorated. Then this green one. Very nice. And then there's this one. And this one. 
and this one and this one very very cool and a letter plus some more drawings so let's read the letter it says you may read this on camera if you like thank you dear art all carts my name is bell and i live in the u.s i love watching your videos and got into into them by looking for a tutorial of a wolf and yours was amazing ah, thank you i wonder how what video did was it that you guys found my channel with i always think that's fun i always like to look at youtubers and um go oh, i know what was the first video that i watched of them so i'm curious about that uh, i am 13 years old and i love your work i've included some artwork from me including a personal banner for you oh yay I have also included some Disney stickers and hope you enjoy them. I have also given you a card with my social media on it. So I'm assuming you want me to share that with everybody so that they can go check out your artwork. So I'm going to put it right up here on the screen so you guys can see it right there. Hopefully you guys can see. Blah, blah, blah. Right there. Ew. There we go. Okay. Uh, this keeps going out on me. Damn it. I'm yelling at my computer. Okay. And then here are some fun stickers. And I. I think this is genius. So, like, the stickers don't have the sticky things on the bottom, but she put them in a little bag here, and she stuck them to the plastic so that you can just peel the sticker off and it doesn't hurt. It. Like, if you stuck it to some paper, um, you wouldn't be able to get the sticker off. But because it's in there, they're all safe. So I thought that was genius. Plus, the super cute, stretchy little blue gummy horse. I think this is so cute. Evil want to steal it from me. Then some more artwork. So we have this one here, which is a very beautiful picture. I love the coloring on that. It's great. Rainbow Dash. Young Rainbow Dash. And do you know how I know this? Because Rainbow Dash doesn't have a cute one. Mm -hmm. Some beautiful anime eyes. Love those. Another wolf drawing here. Looks like it would be a great coloring page. Speaking of the coloring page, look at this design. So it's all the same wolf. I'm trying to decide if, yeah, I think you photocopied, you drew one and then you photocopied it off and then you colored different designs on it. That's awesome. Ooh, that one has an owie. Ouch. This one, I love the blue tail. That's really nice. I'll tell you, we have a lot of artwork. Oh, this is, says E, this is you as a My Little Pony. So there I am as a My Little Pony. So cute. And then here is my banner, which is very appropriate because I seem to say this a lot. So God bless you. And it has some great little like catfish and a little wolf and my little pony pink pinkie pie and kitty cat. And the last one is this drawing here, which um looks like it was taken off of my drawing that I did of a moment of her wolf cub. So wolf cub, cub, wolf pup, wolf pup, cub, pup, something. Awesome. And so I will give Annabelle something in the mail get that sent off post haste i'm just going to stack that there hope it doesn't fall and we'll move on to something else so this is from knoxville tennessee and we have some drawings in here it says dear valerie please open this on camera you got it okay my name is charlie and i enjoy your videos i have been watching your videos for two years and they have taught me about Helper steps and how to draw cats and wolves and more. Well, Charlie, well, I'm glad you found those helpful. I always like to hear when you guys find them encouraging or help you to to um, draw. And so we have some little drawings here. They're really, really faint. So I don't know how well they're going to show up on camera, but here's some little faces of, I think, like little kitty cats. Very cute. And then this one over here, there's a little narwhal on the side. And then on this side, looks like a little unicorn. Cool. So I don't know if you guys can see that because it's very faintly drawn. But thank you very much. Those are really great little drawings. Okay, I feel like I'm ignoring the chat. So let me run down here and look at the chat for a second and say hi to everybody. Someone asked me who Morgan is. I don't know who Morgan is. But I like all the emoji cons. That's cute. And Caden, hi. And Fish, yeah. I know. Does it keep glitching out on you? Well, meow says glitched out. Yeah, it keeps glitching like every five seconds an error has occurred. Yeah. Oh, it's annoying. But every time I refresh it, you guys come back. So 
that's good. So I don't know if that's happening on your side as well, which would be very annoying if it is. So I apologize if it is. I don't know exactly how to fix that. So let's oh goodness, everyone's talking so fast I can't read names. So Kaya says hi Ardacot and Bella says hi. And it's three or four four thirty-eight. It's we're in the same time zone, you me. That's very cool. Please say hi, Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Hi, hi. Oh, goodness, you guys are talking too fast. Oh, I notice you. I, you went by too fast. I couldn't read your name, but I noticed you. <laughs> so is it glitching out for you guys? Like, is it like every five seconds you're having to refresh it like I am? Because it's really annoying on my part. So I apologize. So, yeah. Um, You're very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, I couldn't read your name. You went by too fast. Draw me a gamer guy, please. What kind of gamer guy? Like Minecraft gamer guy? I don't know. Uh, I said hi, Morgan. Hi, Morgan. What more can I say? Morgan, hello. Okay, there we go. Uh, my name is Ella. Hi, Ella. Oh, you guys are having to refresh it all the time. Sorry. I don't know, maybe I should just start a new live feed. I don't know if that would fix that or not. <clears throat> and Bella Bell says, notice me, but I did notice you, Bella Bell. I did. And, and, and Bloody Dreams keeps on saying, say Morgan, but I did, but it's just now catching up to where I said that. Okay. I learned drawing My Little Ponies from you, from My Little Freak. Oh dear, it just glitched out of me again. <sighs> The art a la carte snarl. You guys have to do that every time I go to Zagar at the TV screen. That would be fun. Okay. Computer screen. TV screen. Oh, hello from the other side. What other side? That sounds exciting. Do they have cake? Ooh, nice. Oh, goodness. You guys are going too fast again. Um, I'll see. So is it Mesha says hi? And Lena, Lena says hi? And... Layla says hi. I know a Layla. It's probably not the same Layla, but I know a Layla. And if it was a brand, what is the brand of erasable color pencils? Oh, it's the Cool Erase Color Pencils. The Prisma Color brand is the kind that I use. You can get them in a pack that has a whole bunch of colors, or you can buy them in a box that has a whole bunch. So I get them in a box that has a whole bunch of just one color because. I go through a lot of pencils, and I like to use like one color in a drawing. So, hello from Oklahoma. How about a green-haired girl? I did draw a picture of a green-haired girl. In fact, I just saw it. Did I just get rid of the picture? I drew a picture of a green-haired girl, but I can't find it. I don't think I recorded it. Chelsea says, "Notice me. I do notice you. You're a huge inspiration." Says Wolf Song. Thank you. And uh, notice me, please something channel i noticed you but your name went too fast and i couldn't there was an e something any y okay valerie what is your social media i am on instagram i'm getting better at twitter and i used to be great at facebook but now not so much so instagram is like my main thing and it's art um yeah you think that i would know my own handle well, I'm not looking up. It's Art Cart Cafe. So Art, A-R-T. Then Cart without an E because I'm not consistent. So Art and then Cart, C-A-R-T, and then Cafe with one E. So all together, one gigantic word, A-R-T-C-A-R-T-C-A-F-E, Art Cart Cafe. That's my Instagram. And it's really cool because you can see all like the sketches that I do that don't always make it on my YouTube channel, um, that's fun. So, yeah. Okay, this is so fun, but I need, I still have so much mail to get through. So let's do some more mail. Okay, this one is from another Isabella, but this one's from Nashville, Tennessee, with a really cool eyeball on the envelope. Okay, let's look here. All right, we don't see a do not read this, so I'm going to read a little bit of it. So it says, Dear Art a la carte, hi, my name is Isabella and I'm 10 years old. I love all of your how to draw episodes. I'm in the fourth grade. 
Everyone says that I am the best at drawing in my school, but I am still learning. Thank you for being humble. I love that. You can be really good at something, but then be super like, oh, I'm the best in the world. And it just takes the, the beauty out of what you can do. Just takes it away if you don't have a beautiful heart about it. So, I mean, not being mean about yourself, like, oh, I'm the worst drawer ever. You know, don't do that. But just being humble about about, you know, when people give you lots of praise and compliments and things like that. Acknowledging that, yeah, that's, I'm really, I really enjoy art and I still have a lot to learn. That is a beautiful thing. So thank you. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. I hope to be as good as my big sister, Victoria. I love the name Victoria, by the way. You can tell your sister that. But personally, I think you're a lot better than, <laughs> a lot better than she is. I have a big rooster and his name is Bean. I love that. I want a rooster named Bean. I want something named Bean. Some, I have to name something Bean in here. I don't have anything I can name it. I, next thing I get that I have to name, I think I name it Bean. That's a great name. Um, he had a brother, but he didn't make it. I know he's happy, though, um, up in heaven. We also have a bunny. His name is Oreo. I have a friend who has a bunny named Oreo. I think that's a popular name. He is the color of an Oreo, so it's just him. My friend's bunny, which is named Oreo, is also Oreo colored. Ha oh, ha. Um, he hid behind, when we got him, he hid behind a chair for 15 minutes. My BFF is Daisy. She was there for my first day at Lighthouse Christian School. That is super funny because just in the town I live, we have a Lighthouse Christian School. And so I was like, wait a minute. No, oh, you're in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, so, okay. And she asks me to call her Bella because that's what her friends called her. Thank you, Bella. And so here is some drawings that Bella did. Here is um, Queen Celestia. Whew, just lost my geekery scales. I almost called her Luna. And then a little kitty cat. And she says, I find cats hard to draw. Cats can be a little bit challenging. Oh, nice for shortening in this Elsa drawing. That's really great. Thank you. Thank you. I love these. Oh, and not holding it as neatly as you did, but there it is. All right. I love that. Yay. Okay. So now we're going to do another one here. This one is cool. It's got lots of cool little drawings on the back of it. That's so fun. Oh, questions. I'm from Canada. Can you do more My Little Pony tutorials? Oh, wait. Well... I can't say always. Probably, I don't know. I do My Little Pony drawings and tutorials, but you guys, not you personally, but you know who they are. If you read the comments in those videos, man, they scare me. People are really like intense with how you draw My Little Ponies and you get one line off and then just World War Three erupts right on the comments and, and then the rest of you guys and you know who you are rush to my defense and then it just becomes really violent and then I have to like calm people down. So I don't know if I, I love doing My Little Pony drawings but the payoff for having fun doing My Little Pony drawings and the drama that goes on in the comments, so I have to weigh that out. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, let us look here. Oh, there's tons of stuff in here. Oh my goodness, there's drawings everywhere. It's a drawing art avalanche. Okay, and there's the cart. I'm trying to look at the envelope without showing the address. Okay, here is the letter. So it says, Dear Art of the Cart, I have been having problems with art, but because of you and your love for art, it makes me feel that I can do better. That's awesome. Every artist has a hard time. I was talking about that in my art class that I was teaching today to the kids, because um, a lot of them were getting frustrated because their cats weren't looking like my cat. And I told them that every artist has more failures than they have successes. And that if you look at the end of the month, my stack of drawings, the stack of drawings that I have of failures is huge, it's huge stacks of drawings compared to a little stack of, of good drawings. And you know, I've been arting for 30 plus years, and so I still fail. So it's okay to fail because failing is how you learn. It's just you don't give up. So I'm glad that. Uh, uh, do we have a name? Don't know if we have a name. Teresa looks like Teresa. Don't give up. Okay. 
my sister have some art for oh, my sister me and my sister have some art for you my sister would like your opinion of her art and then she sent me a cool piece of paper to draw with which is really very pretty it's like i'm um, a textured paper it's very pretty i will draw something on that okay so i don't know which ones are your sisters and which ones are yours so i will just show them off really quickly so here we have this little drawing here and this little drawing here and that's kind of a creepy drawing there. And some more little doodles. I love little doodles. Then we have this fantastic drawing. Kind of reminds me of my koi fish drawing that I did. Mm, with the fish and then I had the rocks in the bottom. So that was really great. And then a beautiful ink drawing of a tulip. So very pretty. Uh, it's really hard for me to critique artwork for people that I don't know exactly um, or you know have personal contact with because you know artists are sensitive and so when someone says well you can do this butter it crushes them and I never want to crush you guys so um I just think it's great when you guys practice I think that's the best thing but tell your sister uh that those two strings are really sweet and whichever ones you did and whichever one she did I can't tell I think there's little initials on them on one of them there's a T dot T, so I don't know. But thank you for the drawings. They're beautiful. All right, let's see. Do a collab with Kat Vark. Actually, I just saw that Bailey J did um, a collab with her. I don't know if you guys are subscribed to Bailey J's uh, channel. Um, if you aren't, you should definitely do that. I did a collab collaboration video with her. We did an amazing mermaid and uh, fairy picture. It was super duper fun. Um, so I just saw that she did. I've been actually uh, following um, Kat, Kat Wilkes. I don't know if that's how you say your name channel for quite a while and I'm thinking about wanting to do a collaboration but I do have a collaboration in the works with another youtuber um, and I think it's going to be coming out this not tomorrow Saturday but next week so I'm super excited so after we finish that one then I'll start contacting a few other youtubers and seeing um, if someone wants to do a collab with me so there will be more collaborated videos um, coming up in the future yay so hi from Germany hey Germany do some more Minecraft tutorials. Uh, I should. Let me know uh, what Minecraft creature to do. So, yeah. Do a collab with Lemony Crescent. I do want to do one with her, too. I haven't asked her yet, though. So that'd be kind of weird for me going, yes, I will do one when I have an her to see if she wants to do. Oh, no. The comments are going really fast again. It's so hard for me to read. Can you do a video on foreshortening? I, I need to because foreshortening is stinking hard to get until you get it once you get it then you got it and it's beautiful i need to teach you how to do that but it's really hard to teach i'll think about it okay let's see Did that one that one okay so here is one from emma and emma also sent me a self-addressed stamped envelope thank you emma i will be getting a letter off to you so again if you're just now joining me um, if you want to get a personal little note from me, if you send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, which means you send me an extra envelope inside of your envelope, and then you write your address. That's why I have it covered up so you can't see her address. But you write your address on it, and then you put a stamp on it. That has two things it has to have, envelope and a stamp. And I will send you something in the mail. I'd love to do that. So here is, oh, I, I've gotten letters from you before. I recognize your handwriting beautiful beautiful art so i'm not going to read this online right now but i want to show you some of the drawings here so let me show this way okay so here is one it's a very beautiful owl drawing i love this so 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 cute emma does an amazing job and then on this side it's the cool like wolf and he says, ho, ho, he looks weird. No, I don't think so. He looks great. He looks great. <gasps> and the cutest kitten stickers ever. So adorable. And a Christmas card. This is telling you it is taking me forever to get through mail. So a beautiful little Christmas card from Emma and Sassy. So thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. It's beautiful. Okay. I'm going to put that with that so I remember who that is. Oh, there's so many piles of things. I have my job cut out for me today. Okay, so it just glitched on me again. I need to reload. Glitchers. Ready for the glitching face? Ah, okay. 
sometimes I'm, I scare myself. Okay. All right. So this one is from Burbank, California. I'll cover this up. But it has a cute little puppy sticker on the front and then a whole bunch of adorable stickers on the back. I love that. And again, this one was sent to me in November. Oh, I am so slow at getting things looked at. So this is from, oh, I'm going to slaughter your name. K-man? K-man? K-y? K-a-y? N-a-n. Okay. Dear Valerie, K my name is Kanan Ray. Let's call you Ray. I'll call you Ray. I am 11 years old and I love your channel. I haven't been with your channel for long, but you have taught me a lot about art and I've been interested in watercolors lately and butterflies. Very fun. I'm not going to read the whole letter, but she did this really pretty picture of a butterfly right there. And then we have some beautiful paintings. She says this is a copy. I don't foresee how this is a copy because it has bleed through. I think this is the original. It looks original to me. Unless the black part is copied and then she colored it. I don't know. But look at the back. This doesn't look like a copy to me, does it? Does it look like it to you? <laughs> and then here's another beautiful butterfly. I love watercoloring butterflies. It was one of my first things that I learned how to watercolor. And it was very fun. And then... This adorable sticker, this is going to go on my pencil sharpener or maybe my sketchbook. I always put the stickers that you guys give me either on my pencil sharpener or on my current sketchbook. And it just, it's just a fun way to kind of um, be able to see all the fun stickers because I am a sticker holic. So when you guys send me um, stickers, I love them so much. And so that's what I do with them. Put them on my. My pencil sharpener is getting pretty full, though, so I've moved to now putting most of them onto my current sketchbook. And I can't get your letter in the bag. Go back in the envelope bag. Thank you, thank you for that beautiful artwork and that cute sticker. I love it. All right. Ooh, this one's full, too. This is this is for another one from Charlie. <gasps> She's me This is how long it's been since I... Open things. Charlie has sent me two different things. Oh my goodness. Okay, so more stuff from Charlie. So we have some more little art pictures. So there's a kitty cat there and a sleeping kitty cat there. Trying to find the letter. Oh, this is cute. It says hello. It's got cake. I love cake. Cake, cake. Cake loves me. Is there no like letter? So here's a cute little some deer and, and some chicks and a little bug and a mouse and a turkey. And ah, that's very clever. I love little detail like that. I think that the turkey's going to get eaten though. It's the circle of life. I'm a nominee. Don't think. Ah, this computer keeps glitching on me. So sorry, you guys. Sorry. And then some more little drawings there. And one on side. So yeah, I don't see a letter from Charlie on this one. But we had the letter earlier from Charlie, which was actually later, because I think this one came in November. <laughs> I'm really good at getting these videos done. Okay. Let's see. This one's from El Paso, Texas. This one's have tacos, I think. Don't see any, do not read this on the camera. So here we go. Dear Valerie, your art is amazingly awesome. And I think you are the most talented, thoughtful, oh, artistic person, encouraging, beautiful person I've ever met. I love you and your art and your, my inspiration. I cannot read right now, you guys. Sorry, the dyslexia is just out of the roof today. Oh, okay. I am 12 years old. I actually live in El Paso, Texas. So there's not too many art classes or, or and too expensive. It is hard. Sometimes I lived in the country, and so there wasn't a lot of art classes. And again, I'm going to be doing some classes or some videos talking about beginning art 
And my main theme is that you don't need an art teacher. There's only a couple reasons why you would actually need a physical art teacher to physically be there. And that's if you are so serious about art that you want to go into a specific field, like you want to be an animator. So going to art college and getting that, um, you would definitely need an art instructor for that. Um, or if you just want to be so good at art that you're wanting to dedicate like like an Olympian dedicates hours and hours worth of energy to, you know, exercising and practicing their, their sport. Unless you're that mindset with art, you don't need an art teacher. With the immense amount of, you know, resources nowadays with, you know, YouTube and books and online art classes and things like that, um, you don't need one. The, the only thing you would need an art teacher for is to evaluate your artwork, to look at it and be able to you know, kind of share some things with, with you on that. I'm completely 100% self-taught. I didn't, I had a couple of art teachers like for like short little summertime art classes. They weren't even long extended period art classes. And the greatest art teacher I ever had was just one who just gave me paper and told me to draw. And I just drew and I can't remember any kind of constructive critiquing that she did. She just encouraged me to draw. Um, and I realized, even though that was really encouraging to me, I could have done that on my own. Uh, and especially with, you know, the tutorials and things like now, don't don't feel like you can't be an artist if you don't have an art teacher. I mean, obviously, if there's art classes out there, jump in and, and take them if you can't. But don't think that you can't do it if you don't have an art teacher because you you can do it. Just practice. Draw, 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 draw. Yeah. OK, I'm getting off my my little thing, my soapbox. So um, no artwork with this one. Uh, but she did send me her address and asked me to write that. But there was no self address stamped envelope. So sorry. Um, yeah. So let me double check. Maybe there's a self address stamped envelope. And I didn't see. That's why you always double check the envelope. So, yes, there is a self address stamped envelope. So I will send you, Marie. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, I was lame. I'm going to stick this letter with that. So if you ask any questions, I can answer. Okay. Oh, see, the fun things of having a live event is I can't, you know, edit. Oh, oh, what did I do? Push the wrong button. Oops, push more wrong buttons. Okay. Live event where I can't cut out things like that. <laughs> Maybe to see a la carte live and raw and all of her weirdness. Okay. Isabella is either a really popular name or we have another letter from Isabella. So let's see. So this is from North Carolina. Let me see if there's any notes on here saying don't read online. Dear Miss Valerie, there is a note on each of the drawings. Okay. My name is Izzy and I watch your videos on your channel and I love them so much. You have been such a blessing to me. If you didn't do art a la carte, I wouldn't be drawing. <gasps> Thank you. I'm so glad that you are journeying on with your art because of this channel. That's awesome. That's encouraging to me. I mean, I read your guys' comments, but it is it's especially to me when I get an actual like letter that you guys take time to write and send to me and and let me know that you appreciate the art. That's just that's that's like the best reward I have. Is I love that. Okay, so I won't read the whole letter, but she sent some little drawings in here, and this one says a Chinese cartoon girl and a manga girl named named. Swanty? Swanty? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So here is the cute little Chinese girl, which is adorable. I think she would make an adorable sticker. Oh! <gasps> this is beautiful. I love this. This is so gorgeous. Thank you. Then this one says, oh, point shoes. This is a photocopy because I wanted to keep the original. Definitely. I would definitely send photocopies as much as I love your artwork. So these are Russian point shoes. Very pretty. I like it. I don't know if you can tell. Okay. Oh, the lighting is so bad as I'm looking at the video. I'm like, eh, so bad you can barely see it. But um, they're very lightly colored. It's very beautiful. Okay, I have to hold this one up closer so you guys can see it a little bit better. And she said she made this character up herself. Isn't that beautiful? Hope you got to see that better because my camera is not, the lighting is really bad. It's really, really, really bad. Okay, let's put this all back in the envelope. 
Pin blop, pin blop, pin blop, blop, blop. Yeah. Guys, I don't know if I'm going to get through all of this. It's... Okay, there's a box. <gasps> How exciting is that box? Hope I didn't show off my address. Okay, I'll get it. Okay, so in here, this is from Florida. So in here is a little card. So like a little gel pen card there, snowflake. And on the back it says, may the peace and the blessing of Christmas be yours and may the coming year be filled with happiness. Merry Christmas and God bless. Yes, I'm opening my Christmas cards and presents in February. Mm -hmm. And then another little card says, may her sadness be filled with joy and your videos. La -la. May her sadness be Okay. okay, dyslexia is just causing me not to want to read. So let's try this again. <sighs> May her sadness fill you with joy. Love your videos and the little life lessons. Oh, sad. Guys, oh my gosh, you're going to be so excited when you do this. This is awesome. It's a little poem here, Clay. It's sadness. And she's holding her memory. And she's my favorite. I love her. I so want to cosplay sadness so bad. Like get a little costume. I think I could pull her up. So I'd have to be a little bit sadder because this is really cute. You did such an amazing job with this. I mean, the texture in the hair and in the sweater. And then just the memory itself is so cute. I love it. I'm going to definitely just go on my shelf right now. There. Now I can see her all the time. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. I love it. So cute. Oh, goodness. I'm getting spoiled. Okay. Here we go. This is from Teresa from Arizona. Yes. Another Christmas card. I'm so cool. So here's the Christmas card right there. I love it. Inside it says, hi, Art of the Cart. May the Lord bless you with the gift of his perfect peace this Christmas and his and the sense of his present in your heart every day. Happy holidays from Teresa. And then Teresa sent this little drawing right here. What a cute little cat. I love the swirlies in the ears. Very nice and stylish. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Last year, not last year, two years ago, um, I did a Christmas card exchange with you guys. So everyone who sent me a Christmas card, I sent them back a Christmas card. Um, I wanted to do that again, but I almost got overwhelmed with the Christmas cards that I got sent this year. So I was like, okay. Oh, but so it's still really fun and special for me to receive Christmas cards from you guys. Okay. Unfold. <laughs> yes, instructions. Unfold this. Okay. Also, oh, more, more questions. Okay, here we go. This is from... Jasmine, it looks like. Jasmine from Washington. I used to live in Washington. Dear Art a la carte, has her address. I'm not going to show you. I'm glad I don't get to see. I am a huge fan of your work. I'm sorry if my handwriting is messy. Anyway, I need help drawing again because I have not been drawing in ages. <gasps> That's not good. You should draw every day. And I need getting help back on track because my drawings are not the best. And I want to help finding my own style. I've been working on that. I'm working, I'm ideas percolating in my head for a drawing to uh, lesson tutorial video on finding your own style. So yes, I'm going to work on that. Also, how do you draw like things like it's beautiful? Also, how do you draw like that? It's beautiful. Oh, practice, darling. Tons and tons of practice. So here's some drawings from Jasmine. Jasmine, you faker. These are beautiful. I love this. And I hope this is me. I would be so, so cute if this was me. Isn't this adorable? She's so cute. On the back it says, see, it does not look as good. And yes, this is similar to me. Oh, it's her. Fine, Jasmine and I can be twins. This is adorable. Okay, another little drawing right here. Honestly, you are my favorite. <laughs> she said that. Okay. Thank you. I love you guys' enthusiasm. And Jasmine, thank you for this drawing. Very, 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 very cute. Oh, it keeps failing on me. Okay. 
I have to reboot my computer. For those of you guys just coming in every, not reboot my computer, but refresh the page because it keeps on glitching out on me. Somehow it's not glitching out on you guys as much, hopefully. Okay, so is it Jana, Gina from Oceanside, California? Ugh. Looks like a beautiful card. Oh my goodness, look at this pretty, pretty card right there. I love that. So it says, Dear Valerie, my name is Gianna. I'm going to say Gianna because that sounds pretty. I love your channel and I'm going through a lot of hard things right now. When I do art, it changes my emotions and makes me happy. <gasps> That's wonderful. I love it. That, and isn't that great how art can do that? You know, you can be just really sad and you can just draw for a little bit or you're stressed out and you draw a little bit. God, it just makes things a little bit better, it does. So, okay, I'm trying to fix my computer again. Question time. What is your favorite thing to draw? Mm, it changes all the time. My favorite thing to draw right now, I love working on the coloring pages that I've been working on. And I have several that I'm working on and something new. Oh, I'm so excited. But I'm not going to tell you guys because I'm mean. Two, if you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, I would choose chocolate cake, but that would not be good for me. So I think beans and rice because it's the perfect protein. I would get really sick and tired of beans and rice, but it'd be healthy for me. It's protein and all that good stuff. So chocolate cake. It's really going to be chocolate cake. Okay. Three. When did you start doing art? Um, I started drawing when I was about three, but... I began to be serious about art when I was around 15. Um, if you watch my Draw My Life video, it kind of goes through that and all that stuff. So, And then four, what is your favorite holiday? Well, Valentine's Day is coming up soon. And it's named after me because my name is Valerie and Valentine's Day. But it's not my favorite holiday. Yeah. Um, no, I think I like Christmas is my favorite. So let's see what drawing we have here. Oh, it's so cute. It's dopey. I love this. It's so, so cute. One of my favorites. I haven't never, I don't think I've ever drawn dopey before. Now I feel inspired. John has inspired me. All right. So let's look at the comments and see what you guys are saying. Ugh, got everything messed up. Okay. Comments, comments, comments. They're there. Okay. Um, LOL, says Tater Tot. Tater Tot's laughing. I didn't get the joke. I missed the joke, Tater Tot. Tell me the joke. Arnella Card, please draw my channel pick. Like your little icon pick. I can't do that. I, if I did that for you, I would be, have so many people asking me to do it, and I would have no time to make videos. So I'll just teach you how to draw, and then you can draw something for your channel pick. That would be fun. All right. Uh, can't go wrong with Disney. Boom. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rayleigh Rain. Hey, Rayleigh Rain. Absolutely amazing. I have inspired uh, and have inspired me to draw continuing my, oh man, I lost your comment, but I was reading it. A bunny tutorial. I actually have a bunny tutorial. If you look back through my video archives of old videos, I have a bunny tutorial there, but watch it. And if it's not what you're thinking of, let me know and I will maybe make another one. Can you draw manga? I can't. I haven't done a lot of manga on my tutorials, but um, if that's something you guys would like to see a little bit more of, I can definitely do that. I am French and a subscriber. That's why my art channel name is Arthur Lacarte. I'm just kidding, but that's awesome. I love it that there's so many people that around the world that watch my channel and that their first language is in English, yet they watch my channel. And I, I know like three words in other languages and that's it. So you guys are so smart. <laughs> I think it's so sad that a lot of people in America only know one language and then I meet people from other countries and they know like five. Really? That's amazing. That's awesome. Hi from Brazil. Yay. Um, can I do a tutorial on drawing a fox? I think I have a fox tutorial. I think I have a red panda. That's really cute. Kind of look like a fox. I'm from New Jersey. Hey, New Jersey. I really love Val's art. I try so hard, but I stink. Well, take a shower and then try drawing again, and you'll find your art doesn't stink anymore. Just kidding. Every artist thinks their art stinks. You are your own worst critic, so don't give yourself too hard of a time and just keep drawing. 
and take a shower. Just kidding. <laughs> oh man, my thing went out again. Snarly face. Okay. All right. While I'm doing that, let's jump over here and grab another thing. Okay. So this one is from Matt and Emily. And there's a little note in here. Now I have to admit, I opened up some of these and I don't know why, what I was thinking. Some of them I did not put back in the envelope. So hopefully I got everything. So anyway, hello, Valerie. My name is Lily and you're so awesome. I'm nine years old and my birthday is in December. Oh, yay. And then she asked me a couple other things, but I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to show you the cool little My Little Pony drawing right there. I love that. And she uses her shapes. I also taught this in my art class today. I teach an art class once a week um, to uh, grade school kids. And we were talking about the importance of drawing with shapes and using your shapes in there. And a lot of them were drawing the creature and then drawing the shapes inside. <laughs> and I'm like, no, draw the shapes and then draw the, the creature. So good job for using your shapes on that. That's awesome. OK. Well, See here. Ooh. This one came in a bag because it got munched by the post office. So the post office says, "Be care," and then it apologized, regret to the damage to the mail. So they regret it. Rebecca, don't worry. So Rebecca is from Vancouver, Washington, not too far from me. We're neighbors, and sent me a little Christmas card. So I don't know if there was anything inside here, but seriously, the whole thing of this was just crunched. So let's see what's in here. So this is Merry Christmas, Art Ella Cart. Very beautiful penmanship, by the way. Thank you for all the time and work you spend on your videos. If it doesn't bother you, who's your favorite superhero, Marvel or DC, DC together? So, oh, superhero. I'm going to have to say Iron Man. I'm a little nervous about the next big Marvel, Captain America 3. Is it Captain America 3? Because Iron Man and Captain America are like, going to get you know not being very friendly to each other and i really like captain america too but i think i like iron man for right now so i hope you like the presents thanks again well i'm sure i would have loved them i'm sorry once again but i think they fell out so hopefully you didn't send me like a diamond ring because that would have been sad <laughs> all right can you do a video of a cheetah walking? I did a cheetah running, I think. And cheetahs are weird looking. I mean, if you look at a cheetah's proportion, it just seems like you're drawing it wrong. But that's just the proportion. Someone's wanting attention. I don't know who it is because I just started reading the comments. Is everyone being nice? Be nice, everybody. Okay. Um, five Art de la Carte. Five, five to you. Chima, hello, Al. Valerie, is Aloha Splat a good name for a My Little Pony? Well, I like the Aloha part. The Splat part sounds kind of messy. So maybe she's an art pony and she has like art splatters on her, her key mark. Then that would be a great name. Got to go. Bye. Bye, Tear Tot. Uh, I love to draw. Um, how can I improve my hair drawing? I will. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I have actually several videos on drawing hair. So if you haven't watched those, I would definitely check them out. Um, but really, it's going to come down to the old traditional practice. You just got to practice. So, yeah. Um, please draw a New Finland pony, please. I'll have to look up a New Finland pony. And notice me. Amy, I noticed you. I noticed you. <laughs> Can you do more challenges? I actually have a box full of challenges on my desk. Um, I just don't want to flood my channel with challenge after challenge after challenge because then I won't have any like one, one videos or drawing tutorials. And for the, you know, 5% of people who don't like the drawing challenges, um, I don't want to like overwhelm them with challenges. So I'm trying to spread them out, but I have a cheap watercolor challenge, which I'm going to put cheap watercolors um, and put them up against my professional and see what I get. That'll be fun. Um, and then I have a color pencil, cheap color pencil challenge. I want to do another three marker challenge with my Copic markers. Um, Cause the last one I did was uh, a three marker challenge was with my old markers. So I, I'm going to do that again with my Copics. And then 
I have a couple other ones that I'm working on. How do you draw the lips? Very carefully. Actually, I have videos on that. You can check it out. Um, Aloha Splat is based off the beach, but loves art too. Okay. Well, at least hopefully it's not Seagull Splat because that's the only spot that I think of when I think of the beach is Seagull Splat. And if you live at the beach, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say Seagull Splat. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for answering my questions on Instagram. You're welcome. Uh, that's probably the best place to get a hold of me if you have a question or want me to talk to me is to private message me on Instagram because um, that is the social media that I seem to be on the most. So for those of you who do have a question or want me to see your art and maybe I haven't seen it on Facebook, um, send it to Instagram because um, I see those a lot better if you tag me in it or send it to me in a private message. Um, notice me, uh, Onisha. Onisha? That's a great name. I love that. If that's how you pronounce it. Well, I'm sure however you pronounce it is great, but Onisha is very pretty. I must name something. Please draw Fluttershy. I did. It's in the videos. You can find it. What's my favorite animal, like, of all time? Well, right now, my mom's cat is, like, on the top of my list of favorite, right next to my dad's dog. It's a really funny, quick, quick story. Story time with Fluttery. Um, so my parents just moved down from Washington this last summer. And they haven't had a cat or a dog in forever. So they decided they wanted to get a cat or dog. So I went out and found mom, the perfect cat, beautiful Siamese cat. And then I found my dad, the perfect puppy. His is a Japanese chin. But they're both just little babies. They're, you know, and so my parents went from having no one to take care of to now having to potty train a cat and dog and get up and walk the puppy every day. And so it's very fun to go there and they like to try to grouse about how much work it is, but then they just can't stop talking about their puppy and kitty and they're on it. So, okay. Anyway, story time. <laughs> you guys probably didn't want to hear that. Okay. Let's see. All right. Another. Sorry, we messed up your, your, um, ate my mail. Sometimes the mail is so mean. So this one Got the back flap ripped off, and this is from another country. It's got a mail on it, so I can't tell you if it's from yet. So let's look. I'm actually coming towards the end of all this. It says, happy birthday. <laughs> My birthday was in October, and uh, so I'm just now getting to the part where I actually am opening. I'm, I mean, I opened this one, but yeah. Happy birthday. I hope you are you have a happy one, and I'm really a big fan of yours and I drew a little something for you. Happy birthday from Brooke. Thank you, Brooke. Again, still don't know where Brooke is from, but somewhere not in America. Oh my goodness. This, I, I didn't open this one because I don't remember this. This is so cute. It's a Shopkins birthday cake and it says happy B day. That is adorable. And when Eva sees this, she's going to want to snag it for herself and hang this on my wall. It's cute. Thank you, Brooke. That is beautiful. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Let me click this out here. Oh, the lighting on this thing is so bad. I hope you guys can see. Okay, you guys can see a little bit. Okay. Fox Luna just joined. Thanks for joining me. Cute mouse. I noticed you. I do notice you. And Aloha Unicorn's got to go. Yeah, Aloha Unicorn. And what's my Instagram? It's in the description box below, but it's Art Cart Cafe. I talked about it at the very beginning quite extensively, probably more extensively than I should have, but yeah. Valerie, could you recommend a first watercolor color Copic marker that one should get if you should buy just one? Oh, you should just buy just one Copic marker? First, I show them off, you guys. I just got, I went out and invested in a, in a 32 pack. Um, along with all the other ones that I had. So I like, oh, they just came in yesterday. So I'm so excited. I can't recommend one. Well, there's a lot of hearts. Sorry, a lot of hearts in the comments. <laughs> um, I can't recommend one color because Copic markers aren't meant to draw just with one. Like if you're going to, if I'm going to recommend one color, any color is going to be fine. I would, I would maybe guess recommend a gray so you could do some shading with it. But Copics are meant to blend together. So I I would buy a set of skin tones is what I would buy, if you like to draw people. 
I remember asking the lady when I bought my Copics, my first set of Copics, I asked her the same thing. What set would you suggest for a beginner who just wants like five or six? And she just said, <laughs> that's why Copics are kind of hard and they're expensive. But once you get them, then it's awesome. Um, grayscale, like getting some of these grays here, chrome like these. Um, are good, but really, if you're going to want to do, because you can't, you can use a Copic like a marker, like a regular marker, and just, you know, color a flower yellow and color the apples red and the tree green and the sky blue, but you're not really using the Copic the way it's meant to be used. It's meant to blend together with lots of different colors. And I, I am working on doing it up, up, uh, and updated of my thoughts on Copic. I have my Copic story video, but it really doesn't talk about my opinions of Copic so much because I just got started with them. I'm planning on doing that hopefully, hopefully soon. So I wish I could get more Copics. I know. I think I think that's every artist who has Copics or wants Copics. I mean, I don't think you can ever have enough because even when you have all of the colors, then you want all the refills and you want more nibs and then they come up with a new one and it's just never ending. So I never wanted to color with Copics. I didn't want to touch them because I knew when I touched them that I would be hooked forever. And then I touched them and I'm hooked forever. So, oh, more hearts and kitties and chicks. Yay. And a little ghost. That's so cute. And puppies. Yay. Arctic wolf to turn. Now that's a good idea. I'll put that on my list. Again, can you please draw a character or dragon from How to Train Your Dragon, please? I have done actually one of Toothless. So you can check that out. Just got here, Trinity. Hey, Trinity. So I, I love when Trinity comes in because Trinity's last name is Eva, which my niece is Eva. So I always recognize Trinity Eva's name. Hello, Lenny, with some ghosts. Please draw a pixie on a mushroom. That's cute. I don't think I've done a tutorial on that. Lots of cute hearts. Can I draw sands from Undertale? It took me forever to figure out what Undertale was because I've been getting tons of requests for Undertale. And so it's a video game, I guess. And I have never played it. And I kind of want to play it, but I don't have time to play it right now. So I don't want to watch any, like, playthroughs on it. Because if I play it, I want to play through it and enjoy it. But until I do a playthrough or I play it, I can't draw a character because I don't know who the characters are. So I'm kind of in a... Because I love video games, but I just don't have time to play them. So I'll have to decide. Either I'm going to play it or I have to watch the game play. Because I'm getting so many requests from them and I have no clue what it is. Now, if it's like Friday Nights at Freddy's... I don't know. Because uh, Five Nights at Freddy is kind of creepy. So I don't know. Would you consider doing a collab with a fan? Um, I'm always open to collabs. So here's the kind of my guidelines for doing collabs, collaboration videos. So collaboration video, I don't care how many subscribers you have. But what I do care is if I do a collab with someone that their channel is something that you guys, my my viewers. Are going to like so i'm not going to do a collaboration with like a cooking channel so much um not that i have anything with cooking channels i actually am subscribed to many cooking channels but you guys watch this channel because it's art channel so i'm going to do a collaboration with an art channel and then i'm also going to want to do a collaboration with a channel that has similar tastes in art that my channel has so we're kind of similar um I also want, I'm looking for consistency in uploading. So if, if someone hasn't uploaded in, you know, three, four months and then they're going to do a collaboration with me, it's not going to benefit you as my viewers to show you this really cool channel and then you go and see the cool channel and then they haven't been uploading. Or maybe they've just been uploading just for a little bit, um, but I don't know if they're going to continue uploading. Also, the people that I do a collaboration with are going to... Um, get a ton of people to come to their channel. Well, not a ton, but all of you guys who watch the collaboration video will hopefully go over to that person's channel. So they're just starting out their channel. And I tell you, the first year that I did RL a cart, I had like, you know, 20 subscribers. And if any of you guys were back there from the very, very beginning, you'll know my videos, not so great. I was still figuring out the bugs and the editing and the making sure the lighting was right and getting the, you know, the equipment right. And so you might not be ready for that big boost in in people coming to see your channel because your channel might not be at the best that it can be you want to be ready for this and so i if if you've just started the channel and i kind of see that maybe you just kind of work on it a little bit i'm not going to do a collab right away with you um that doesn't mean that you know if you have just started um that i wouldn't do but there's several different things that i look for 
in that channel and in a collaboration with it. So, yeah. So if you want to do a collab with me, um, just send me a message and I'll definitely check out your channel and kind of try to figure that out. See if we can do that. Okay. Do Animal Jam Lisa, please. She is a panda. Look it up. Okay. I have, have I ever done Animal Jam? I think I played Animal Jam once. Oh, I don't know. I know it's you. Anyway. Um, I'll, I'll look it up more. So lots of hearts and kitties and monkeys and thumbs up and thumbs ups and waves and smiley faces. Thank you, Madison. Uh, please shout out. It's my birthday and my dogs. So G John, Johnny, Johnny. Hi, happy birthday. <laughs> it just went all the way through. Am I a fan of scary stories? When I was younger, I loved scary stories and I would watch the horror films and all that. And then a weird thing happened. I started having like night terrors all the time. I was like, why do I always have these nightmares? I always have vivid dreams. I'm like one of those people that my dream is just like a movie and like I can totally remember aspect, but these ones were getting gruesome and gross. And then I realized that's because I'm watching all this scary stuff and it's getting into my head. And once it gets in your head, you can't get it out. So I stopped watching scary movies and looking at scary things. And guess what? The night terrors went away. So yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, don't do that too much anymore. So every once in a while, I'll watch someone play. You know, I like suspenseful things. I don't like gory things, but I like suspenseful things. And so sometimes we'll play a suspenseful game or something, or watch a suspenseful movie as long as it's not gross. So yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm here to tickle in my throat. Advice for getting ready, um, getting your channel ready. One, I would set up a consistent schedule, whether you want to post weekly or every week or, you know, I wouldn't do any less than if you're wanting to actually have a really growing channel. I wouldn't do any less for than every other week. I would have at least one video every other week. Best is to do one a week. Um, and I wouldn't do a video every single day, but once a week is good. And then focus on what your content is, what what your goals are on your channel. Um, for a while, I was doing like a vlog and you know doing candy tasting, and it was really fun. And I still have all of those videos still up. But I really decided I didn't want this to be that channel. This is an art channel. Um, it's not a whatever Valerie's thinking about kind of channel, you know, go grocery shopping with me, things like that. I have been thinking about um, getting my second channel. For those of you guys know, I do have a second channel, which I haven't posted anything on for a long time, um, called Up in the Attic, because as you can tell, I work and live in my attic. So um, I might turn that more into a vlog or slice of life channel, but focus your channel. So if you want a gaming channel, don't mix your gaming channel with your art channel. Keep it art. Um, and then watch other artists' channels and not not to take their ideas, but to see how they set up their camera, how they set up their lights. Um, do some research on that. You don't have to have expensive equipment. You guys can see right here. This is <laughs> this is my art desk. What it looks like when I don't have it clean. But here's my camera. I have it set up on a tripod that points down. And I have this light here, which is going to blend you guys. But this goes on the ceiling and it diffuses it so that I don't have a harsh light. Took me about a year and a half to figure out that's how other YouTubers were filming it and having really great light without having that huge shadow because I would have this huge shadow across the paper. And so having diffused lights. Um, so it was just a lot of trial and error on trying to figure out how what made my um, videos best. And then, you know, being just really being consistent in what you're posting and when you're posting. So there we go. That's my, can you do a Monday mermaid series? Ooh, Trinity, I like that idea. I love when we have like names for things. So I actually already have kind of themes for each of my three days that I post videos. So Wednesday is always my one-on-one series, one-on-one Wednesdays. Saturday is going to be a kind of a fun video, either a sketch with me video or a art challenge or a collaboration. Um, something that's maybe has a little bit of, of learning with it, but not not focused 100% on tutorial. And then Mondays, I try to make Mondays a tutorial. Um, so that's when I'm getting your animal tutorials and other things that are not the one-on-one -on -one focused ones. So those are my my things. So say my name is Jessica Chapman. That's it. 
and cinnamon plot twist says Hulk. <laughs> and J. Lily Straw says, would I qualify to do a collab with you? Please answer about, I don't know. I would have to look at your channel. So um, J. Lily just send me a private message on YouTube and I'll go check your channel out. Um, oh no, glitched out again, sorry. Uh, I mean, Val, what is your email address? It's in the um, description box below. You can find it. I think it's artallamail at yahoo.com. I think that's it. Hello, sis Chelsea. Hi, sis Tor Torina. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I probably destroyed your name. Where can I show you my pictures I've drawn? Well, you can either email them to me. You can mail them to me when my P.O. box is um valerie flynn uh at our p.o box 104 north bend oregon and 7459 in the description box below and you can send it out to me or if you have instagram you can send it to me on my instagram either tag me in your photo or send it to me in a dm um also you can put it on facebook i have to admit i've been really really bad about facebook i got back when I went to Asia in November and I got back and there were so many notifications and it was just it was taking so long to get through it that I just didn't do it. And then it just got worse and worse and worse. And now it's like, it's like the gigantic creeping unknown and I, it'll just take forever to get through it. So I just have to do it. But if you really want me to see something, um, Instagram is the best place for me to see it or email it to me. Do I like anime? Yes, I do. Um, let's see my favorite anime right now. Oh goodness, what was it called? I don't know what it's called. I don't know. It was a newer one. I just started watching it. It was really cute. Let me see if I can find it. Someone downstairs is making a lot of noise. Roommates. Um I'm looking for it. I can't find it. Oh, I started watching Fairy Tale uh, a little bit, and that was fun. That was really fun. I haven't got very far. Have I ever read uh, Divergent. No, I haven't. I've seen the movie, but I've never read the books. What is the number of the very first set of Prismacolors? I don't know. I bought my very first set, like the only set of Prismacolors that I um, ever bought. I bought them when I was just out of high school. I think I bought the 42 set. And then after that, I just have been um, buying them individually. And then, let's see. Can you say, no, I can't say that. Kodkati, Kodkati, probably not. Please make a movie star planet account. I don't know what that means. Do you like Death Note? I have seen Death Note. It's interesting and in a kind of cool way. Yes. Can you draw Harry Potter, please? That would be a fun tutorial maybe you should do fan art series when you sub I can send you a picture of them and you're going too fast and do a youtuber or something sorry for the caps were on okay how old are you I'm 38 uh, when are you going to show us uh, how to digitally draw or paint on drawing digital videos I just started um, talking about getting started so the last video was just on setting up the file what the one-on-one -on -one series is about is your foundation of learning something so i'm i'm answering all the questions that you might not think about at the beginning instead of just jumping right in and drawing something so I, we talked about equipment and software and now we're setting it up um this wednesday we're going to be talking about layers which is really really important and then we're going to start begin going into technique so it's coming i know it's a the foundation part is hard. Can I draw realistic art? Kind of, but it always comes out cute and fluffy. I don't know. Uh, what are a few book series that I've read? Um, I've read The Hunger Games. I've read Harry Potter. I've read um, the, is it the Mark of the Lion series? That's an excellent series. Mark of the Lion. I think it's Mark of the Lion. Mm. Can you say my name? Art of the Card. You are so nice. Uh, cute Mouse 24AJ. I have to tell you that, guys, reading comments is super hard. For those who don't know, I have dyslexia. 
So dyslexia is when um, one of the things that happens with dyslexia is when you're reading something, numbers and things actually in my vision will get flipped. And so it's really hard to um, repeat numbers to people. Like if someone says, well, read off that phone number. Oh, that is hard for me. And uh, reading is really challenging for me, especially if I feel a little pressure, like, you know, there's a hundred people watching me read and don't mess up. So just letting you know, uh, for any of you guys who have uh, dyslexia, I, I feel, yeah. So can you subscribe to my channel? By the way, I do both digital and traditional art. So um, as far as subscribing to channels, I don't subscribe to a lot of people's channels um, just because if I subscribe to everyone's channel who asked me to subscribe to them, I would have you know, like five gazillion channels and I wouldn't be able to keep up with the ones that I'm currently watching. But I will check out anyone's channel. So anytime you have a channel or something you want me to see, just send me a link just private message me on YouTube and give me the link to your channel. I'd love to check it out. So definitely. Um, what is your most favorite thing to collect? I collect statues, plushies, stickers, and I guess toys that are never to be opened. <gasps> you don't open your toys? Have you not seen Toy Story whatever it was too? What's Stinky Pete? Oh, I love toys. Um, I have, I don't know, you got, oh, you can see him. He's right over there. I have two vinyl pops, but my biggest collection is probably my Disney animator dolls. And I have one, two, three, I have Rapunzel, Aurora, Aladdin, Jasmine, Elsa, Mulan, Anna, Kristoff, Merida, Pocahontas, Snow White, Tinkerbell, and Ariel. So that's probably my biggest collection. And then I have, I love old school toys, like from the 80s. So I have um, old school strawberry shortcakes that I collect those. Those are fun. So I have to try to keep my collections down. I used to collect um, old teacups and I used to have this huge thing of teacups. And then I realized I just have no room for them. So they're all packed away. So yeah. Okay. Um, wait, I'm back. Okay. I'm glad you're back. Um, how are you so good at art? <gasps> Everyone say it with me. Practice, practice, practice. Yes, you draw, draw, draw all the time. Just never stop drawing. Um, draw more doodles. I was thinking about doing another doodle video. I haven't done one in a while. That's awesome. Val, can you dab? I don't know what dab means. Do I want to dab? I don't know. I'm scared. Okay. How old are you? Good grief, you guys. How many times are you going to ask me that question? I'm 38. <laughs> Sorry, I've been asked that several times throughout the stream. It's like the one question I'm like, I don't, it's not that I don't mind being 38. I love being 38. But in the realm and world of YouTube, like once you get over out of your 20s, then you're no longer a YouTube cool anymore. And so it's really harder for people outside of their 20s to stay hip with it so i'm like man i keep having to admit that i'm not in my 20s anymore which i don't look like i'm in my 20s anymore but yeah you see my hand so what inspires you to draw uh i love nature um looking at other people's art music is a huge inspiration for me i love listening to music while i'm drawing um not notice me this is tatiana 4655 did i say your name before i was pretty sure i did when did you start drawing? I started drawing when I was a little kid, like three years old. Kitty do, kitty do. That's a kind of funny name, kitty do. I noticed you, kitty do. Valerie, I still consider you a cool YouTube cool. Thank you. I'm so glad. <laughs> I keep on thinking everyone's gonna find out that I'm. But she's so old. She doesn't know anything cool. She probably doesn't even know what anime is. I do. I do know what this. Anyway. Um. Trinity wants to know if I can do a tr gender bender series. And actually, I have been doing that kind of, I'm kind of playing around with that idea with the Alice in Wonderland comic, not comic, coloring book. I've kind of been drawing, like I drew the Hatter has a girl. I'm working on it. Yeah. A few day, a day with faith. I notice you. Yeah, I might not be able to read, but I notice you. There we go. Val, what would you suggest for, oh, I don't know what you said. It went too fast. Okay. Please give me a shout out. You're so amazed. I'm amazed. I'm gonna find 
it may, you know, it's okay. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, that was Michelle. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> All right. Some questions. Let's get to questions. What's the hardest drawing you've ever drawn? Okay. The what sounds really silly. The one that like emotionally artistically scarred me for life. And now I like shy away from that always is someone asked me to draw a monkey one time and I, I couldn't draw it because I'd never practiced. I'd never drawn a monkey before. And so it was like on the spot, like draw a monkey. And I couldn't draw it. And they were like, oh, that's okay. And then there was like a kid. It was like, that doesn't even look like a monkey. So it has emotionally scarred me. So even nowadays, if I have to think of something that makes me want to go, oh, I'm scared, it's monkeys. I don't know why. I, I just need to practice the stew out of monkeys. So that's, that's challenging. But probably the hardest thing for me to draw is if I am, I'm commissioned to do something that I'm not super excited about, but I have to do it because I'm being paid. Those are always hard. I like to do stuff that I'm excited about. So there have been a couple of paintings that I've had to do that I'm like, oh, I don't want to painting anymore. But I did because that's the job. I do it. Um, let's see. Do you create characters like original characters? Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do is I sit and draw original characters. In fact, I'm thinking about um, just making it i don't know if i want to make them color pages of original characters but i sit and draw color you know like characters and costume designs and stuff and i'm like what should i do with them so i'm trying to set up i want to make a coloring book of original characters that have really no story well they all have stories to me but um or make a art book just full of just random characters that i draw so kind of thinking about it have i ever heard of talking kitty oh my cats meow a lot do I want kids? I would love to have a family, but it's not happening right now, I guess. <laughs> have to find the other half that wants to have a family. So there's no Mr. Art on a card yet. Yeah. No, I'm not drawing a monkey. Stop asking me. Actually, I have <laughs> it's just added um, salt to the wound, but I did a how to draw a monkey tutorial on YouTube, and it's the lowest viewed video I have. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, not drawing monkeys anymore, not doing it. Uh, what is your favorite character? Oh, I lost it. What is the, uh, keep moving. What is your favorite character you have ever drawn? Um, I have some original characters for a story that I'm working on that are my favorites. So probably my original characters, I like those. I like to draw fan art too, but when you draw your own character and it designs it, those are always fun to draw. Now I'm not drawing a monkey, so stop asking. I'm not doing it. I sent you an email about a collab. Okay, I'll check it out after I get done with the uh, collab. Or not collab. This video thing, whatever this is. I want to get done. I'll check my email. No, I'm not drawing a monkey. Stop it. <laughs> Do I have an original character? I have tons of original characters. Tons and tons and tons. Yeah, more than I could ever share. Um, I'll see. Where, what Prisma colors should I buy next? Um, I would buy like like the 12 pack or, you know, like a 24 pack just because with Prisma color pencils, I'm hoping that's what you were talking about, Prisma color pencils, they will blend really well with each other. You don't have to get similar colors to each other. With markers, you have to get kind of similar. You have to get a pink and then a lighter pink and then a lighter, lighter pink, and then they blend beautifully and they do wonderfully. So, yeah. Color pencils, just buy your primaries and mix them and then just grow it. Uh, I'm going to get off for tonight. Good night. Have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you, Eternal Rainy. Yay. I have to get off soon uh, the, myself, so I'm going to be um, leaving this channel pretty soon. Or, um, am I married? No, there is no Mr. Art or Cart. And there's no Art or Cart boyfriend either. There's nothing. I guess I'm too busy drawing pictures. <laughs> Sad face. That's okay. What is nine plus ten? Mm, I don't know <laughs> what that means. Uh, this, the questions are starting to become a little bit weird, and and some of them are are interesting. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this here because it's getting very close to dinner time myself and I am 
hungry and I want to start working on the collab that I have going on for next Saturday. So definitely not tomorrow, Saturday, but next Saturday, be checking back because you guys are going to be, I've had several of you guys ask for me to do a collab with this YouTuber. And so I, I wrote this YouTuber and asked them if they want to do a collab with me and they said yes. And we came up with a super exciting idea. And so, yeah, I'm so excited. So, yeah. Okay. Um... I keep wanting to answer questions with you. Do another collaboration with Bailey J. I would love to do another collab with Bailey. I'm going to be going to VidCon with her, so I'm excited. <laughs> It'll be fun. Okay, I'm leaving now. Stop asking me cool questions. I'll stay in the comments and type to you guys in the comments for a little bit, but I have to stop this. I don't even know how to stop this. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with me, and until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye!